vlogmas it is tuesday and i came home from work it was the last day of our major event so i am very happy to see this day come and go um it's been a lot of work but it's been very rewarding so we're very happy with how it's all worked out um came home and uh had to log into my son's uh year eight transition day information session so my youngest is currently in the final year of primary school he starts high school next year and with COVID um, and the implications of social distancing, instead of going to the school for the information, we logged in to a Cisco WebEx meeting, which was pretty cool. It was nice to come home and do it from the comfort of the kitchen and to be able to knit while I watched that. So I've knit on my advent socks today. I finished my two stripes. My husband brought me a beer to celebrate um, the end of this event and just to wind down at the end of a long day and it was just really nice to be able to sort of focus on the family side of things rather than um, work after work today. Tomorrow my youngest actually graduates primary school so tomorrow will be Bit of an emotional day for me that's my baby finishing primary and moving on to secondary education which is very exciting for him and it's all a bit bittersweet to see your children growing so well and doing such great things but geez i miss my babies they have grown so fast um so my plan for tonight is to sit down and maybe watch an episode of mandalorian with the boys my oldest is already on school holidays my youngest has no homework um, that he needs to worry about given that given that it's the second to last week of school actually i think it's the last week of school so he will finish year seven this week and then be on school holidays which he's really looking forward to as well it's been a long year for everyone but I will sit down on the couch. I might edit Friday's um, Vlogmas. I still haven't. No, I did Friday's. Friday's is up. I will look at editing Saturday's Vlogmas. Um, I'm a little bit behind again. Last night ended up being quite a busy evening. Um, something I might talk about later. Uh, but something exciting nonetheless. Just not knitting related. Hence there was no footage of what happened last night. But, um, yeah, so I want to sit down on the couch, maybe watch an episode of Mandalorian or two. We're a little bit behind. I think we're three episodes back, though I'm pretty sure my oldest has already watched them. And I thought I might knit, if I get a chance to edit, that is, on my S Slip Stravaganza by um, Stephen West. So I just thought before I start that, before I start relaxing for the evening, I might show you what it looks like so far because I haven't talked about any other knitting other than my um, advent socks since I've started the vlogmas uh, for this year because it's just been such a hectic period. Um, so this is it so far. It's a little bit scrunched up on the needles. Hopefully you can see that. I am on clue three at the moment, I believe, and I'm not far. I think I'm on about row 15 of 24 from memory. This is my second Stephen West MCAL. MCAL being a mystery knit along for those who may be new to knitting terminology. Um, so the mystery knit along started in October and around the same time I had signed up for a test knit for a pattern that's getting released day after tomorrow the 10th of December um, so I kind of stopped working on this as regularly and lost a bit of steam on it but I love this yarn and I can't wait to actually finish this project having said that it's actually a real joy to work on I haven't been bored once there's just so much interest in this pattern 
and this design. Um, there's a lot of texture and variation of changing colours that I feel like whilst the row may take a while to get through, we've got around 450 maybe stitches on the needles now. Um, it's a relaxing row and sort of moving on to the next part is like a refresh and a reset which is kind of cool too. So I might try to work on this so just to let you know this this is I'm knitting this on a what am I knitting this on on a 3.75 millimeter now I never know the US terms it's a US 5 um, I actually sized down a needle because I no, I sized up a needle, sorry. I always size up for Stephen's patterns. Um, I tend to knit a bit tighter than he does. Um, and I'm using yarn by my lovely local hand dyer, Julianne of Lovebird Lane. So there's that. And I'm using a few of her colours that she's dyed in the last year, actually since sort of COVID hit, these appeared in her shop. And I just gradually purchased them as they came up. I just thought, oh wow, that's a pretty colour. And then the next update came along and that's a pretty colour. And all of a sudden I had a lot of yarn. So <laughs> when Stephen West announced his pattern or the teasers for what sort of yarns you needed for the slip extravaganza, I looked in my stash and realized I had a good set by accident from one dyer. So these are the colorways I'm using. I can't remember all of their names so I'll link that project page in the description below so that you can have a look at it. So I'm on my second skein of the main color now and this is what I've got left over of the contrast colors and I'm on the second to last clue. So I think I'll have a little bit left over, not, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do the full size or the smaller size yet. I think I'll decide once I've gotten to that section. Okay, so I might turn off now. I probably won't check in with you again. Um, I will try to edit that for, uh, vlog, like I mentioned before, and I'm looking forward to just relaxing on the couch, otherwise with the, this knitting. Enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you're having a good December.